Hello, Spanish learners, and welcome to another amusing episode of Spanish Academy TV, where we improve your fluency and upgrade your Spanish knowledge. Today, we're talking about the top 10 Spanish number games for math-loving kids. There's a common misconception about math being a dull topic, and it's not true. Learning numbers in Spanish doesn't have to be boring. Math is the same no matter the language for supplementing students' math knowledge. But before we dive into our fun Spanish number games, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on that notification bell. Don't miss any of the best Spanish content available online by following these three simple steps. Like, subscribe, and bell button. If your kids are learning Spanish, knowing about math and numbers will take them far in daily life. Number awareness is essential for your child's successful development, and by knowing how to use and pronounce Spanish numbers, your child will dramatically improve their skills as a Spanish speaker. Spanish number games build trust, proficiency, and skills with essential vocabulary that can equip kids for any math-related situation. Let's take a look at 10 terrific Spanish number games that apply to different leveled students. 1. Feed the Monster This game is ideal for preschoolers and requires you to have a cardboard or paper bucket, crayons, pom-poms or balls, number flashcards, or a pair of dice. First thing you'll do is have the students draw a face and decorate the bucket for it to resemble a hungry monster using the crowns. Each student should have the pom-poms or make their own paper balls for feeding the monster. Roll the dice or use the flashcards to call out numbers in Spanish. Students should feed the monster by throwing the pom-poms according to each number you call. This game also encourages cooperation between students as everyone participates in the feeding frenzy. Two, mystery box. Enjoy this game with preschoolers and prepare a piece of cardboard, construction paper, markers, scissors, glue, an empty shoe box, and prizes, of course. Use the cardboard to cut out numbers zero to nine. Put the numbers inside the empty shoe box and have the students decorate that box. The game starts with each student pulling a number out of the box and showing it to the others without looking. The goal is for each student to guess the number they pulled in Spanish. Challenge their memory and have them constantly practice the names and pronunciation. Students get three guesses and those who hit it on the first try get a prize. Three, Spanish numbers bingo. Among great Spanish number games for preschoolers is a classic round of bingo. You'll need a set of dice, bingo cards, pencils, and prizes for motivating the little players. Create bingo cards with the numbers one to 12 in random order and give a card to each player. Have each player roll the dice and call the numbers in Spanish. The first student who crosses all the numbers in their card takes the cake. Well, not actually cake, but indeed a prize. Four, pares y nones, evens and odds. This is one of the quintessential Spanish number games played in elementary classrooms in Mexico, so you best give it a try. To play pares y nones, you need a large group of students where everybody joins in a circle and sings the song. A pares y nones, evens and odds, vamos a jugar. We're going to play. El que queda solo, whoever's left alone, solo quedará. Alone is gonna stay. You'll be the leader, so it's your job to call out a number in Spanish following the song. Everyone should huddle and form a group with the amount of people you've called. 
Players are tested for their memory of numbers in Spanish and need to think fast. Anybody left out of a group has to do a dare, like the chicken dance, jumping jacks, or any creative idea that pops into your mind. Five, cuatro en raya. Connect four. Another classic for elementary students is cuatro en raya. Get a set of dice, pencils, prizes, and connect four templates you can download from this blog post. Have your students take turns rolling the dice and adding them together. Each player calls out the numbers they get in Spanish, and the others have to cross them out in their card. Those who cross four in a row win a point. The four in a row can be horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. Add up the points at the end to see who wins. We're halfway through with our 10 terrific Spanish number games. Are you ready to take them on for a challenge? How about first signing up for a free trial class with our native certified Spanish speaking teachers from Guatemala? They'll teach you all sorts of new math related vocabulary and will improve your fluency after just one lesson. No payments required, flexible schedules, and tailored to your needs. Don't miss out on this awesome gift from us at Homeschool Spanish Academy. Six, crucigramas de los números. Numbers crossword puzzles. Challenge your middle school students with DIY or printed templates of numbers crossword puzzles. Have the kids practice by writing down numbers one to 20 in Spanish by corresponding to a puzzle. The clues of the puzzles are the numerals and the answers are the names in Spanish. This game will test their spelling, pronunciation, and grammar skills. Get creative and add some ordinal numbers or even decimals. Crossword puzzles give you endless possibilities. Seven, race to 100. This game is a bit more complex and is suited for Spanish students 10 years and older. Click here to download the 100 chart template and get some markers, pencils, two dice, and scratch paper. Prepare your students to practice addition, multiplication, simple division, and subtraction by playing Race to 100. So the game goes with each player taking turns rolling the dice and using a marker to mark their spot in the game. Markers begin at cerro, zero, and player one chooses to calculate the sum, difference, product, or quotient of the two numbers displayed on the dice. If the answer is correct, player one gets to move ahead that amount of spaces on the chart. Players are required to say the numbers rolled and operations in Spanish as the game unfolds. Dos más cinco igual a siete. Two plus five equals seven. Player moves ahead seven spaces. Nueve dividido tres igual a tres. Nine divided by three equals three. Player moves ahead three spaces. Each player who fails to know the answer loses a turn, while the first player to reach Cien 100 wins. Eight, counting catch. Practice numbers and math with a game of counting catch with middle and high school Spanish students. The only thing you'll need is a beach ball for including some physical activity in the math mix. To play this game, players gather around a circle and the first player calls a number from uno to cien. That player tosses the ball to another player who adds another number from uno to cien to the previous number and says the total of the sum. This game goes on continuously with each of the players adding a number in Spanish to the previous total. If it isn't challenging enough, you can have the players say numbers from cien to Mil, a great way of making it never ending. Nine, uno, one. Uno is a Spanish number game 
loved and played around the world by families and friends of different ages. Uno is available for purchase on Amazon and pretty much at every toy store. Follow the instructions, whip out the wild cards, and make it mandatory to say all the numbers in Spanish as the game unfolds. Uno guarantees a few hours of fun and entertainment while learning all about numbers in a challenging and endearing way. 10. Pesca. Go Fish. Go Fish is a great game for students seven years and older, and you only need a deck of cards for two to six players. To play the game, you hand five cards to each player, while the remaining cards go in a pile in the middle we'll call El Oceano, the ocean. In every round, each player asks for a number from another player saying, Dame cinco, give me five, or Dame tres, give me three. The player who's asking should have a card with that number available, and if the person asked has the card requested, there's no option but surrender it. Here's a twist. If the person doesn't have the card they're asking for, he or she says, Pesca! Making the player get a card from El Oceano. The game goes on like this until one of the players gets all four cards of the same number and scores a point. The player with the most points becomes the ultimate Spanish numbers champion. I hope this list of terrific Spanish number games keeps you and your students entertained and engaged with this very fun and not dull topic. Like all information, numbers are important to reinforce any possible chance you get. Ask your students number-related questions like their telephone numbers, the date, amount of siblings, and much more. If you want to reinforce your child's Spanish ability with another great and free option, you can download our free ebook, Weird and Wacky Spanish Stories for Beginners. It's a magazine style ebook with pictures and English to Spanish parallel text and has six weird, wacky, and super entertaining Spanish stories full of new vocabulary that'll keep your child engaged. Our book is also great for adults who want to improve their fluency through reading. Trust me, it'll be worth your while. I hope you take this set of fun Spanish number games for a spin when you get a chance. See you on the next episode of Spanish Academy TV. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel for all Spanish learning updates. Hasta pronto.